Welcome to another Alpha 3D tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover how to manipulate your objects on the build plate. This is called nesting. Select your object by left clicking on it. Use the rotation handles to rotate your object around a particular axis. To pan or translate your view, right-click and hold an empty space, then move your mouse. To rotate your view, click and hold the scroll wheel button, and then move your mouse. You can flip your object 180 degrees on either the X, Y, or Z axis by using the orientation buttons on the left side of the screen. You can also select a flat surface to snap to the build plate by clicking on the Select Base button, then clicking a flat surface on your object. Now it's time to add supports. You can access the supports menu from the support tab at the top of the screen. There are three different types of supports you can choose from, and you can also select what kind of dental object you're printing for optimal preset support parameters. We're going to select solid model, since that's what we're printing in this video. Click the Auto Support button to automatically generate supports on your object. You can manually adjust some support settings such as point size to reduce contact points with your object, or support height for a taller minimum height. Click the Update button to apply these new settings. You can also create a base plate underneath your supports to create better adhesion to the build plate. If you want to delete all of the supports and start over, click the Delete Supports button. Once you have your object properly nested and you're ready to send it to the printer, click the Slice button. In the Slice menu, confirm that you have selected the correct printer model, resin manufacturer, resin type, and layer thickness. You can also use the duplicate option to create exact copies of the object that you have nested. Simply enter the number of duplicates that you like, then click the Create button. To delete an object, left-click to select it, then push the Delete key on your keyboard. To slice your print job and save it to your computer for upload, click the Save and Slice button. You can give your print job a specific name and also change the file path where you want to save it. Click Save and Slice. Once it's complete, a new window will open showing you the IBF file that will go to the printer and the 3DP file so you can reopen the job in your Alpha 3D software. In the next video, we'll cover how to upload your IBF file to the printer through the web portal. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.